there has been many sayings regarding this uh, zoo unifications and this separate administration yeah. and even this uh, uh, greater Mizoram also yeah. been talked yeah. and nationalists uh, which being uh, claimed themselves by the MNF party. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what do you have to say on this? So the vision, the vision and dream of my party is there will come one day, one day will come when all these Zhou people were put under one administrative unit. This is our vision. Regarding the Greater Mizoram, I don't want to use Greater Mizoram. I would like to prefer yeah. to use reunification of Zhou yeah. people. Yes. Under Article 3 of the Indian Constitution, this is possible. So Article 3 has already provided the solution of this problem. This Article 3 has been used so many times. New states, new Indian territories were born, and so many times uh, state boundaries were changed. Yeah. So these people, our brothers and sisters, who are living in Manipur, if they decided to join us, we are most welcome. It will not be a greater Mizoram, but it will be a reunification. And as far as that nationalism is concerned, nationalism is not a private property of a MNF party. There has been so many heroes, uh, fighters, who had given their lives in order to, to defend the territory of our forefathers. They are martyrs, and they are nationalists. So we have so many nationalists, even before the existence of uh, MNF party. So this is not a private property of MNF party. Nationalism is a property of all the Zou people. So, uh, in these upcoming elections, do you think that this Zou unifications will be the main agenda uh, of this? Uh, uh, do, do you think this Zou unification will be the main agenda in this upcoming election? It may be to some extent. Yes. Not much.